I was texting Jack Dorsey, that's the perks you get from being super dope. I be feeling like it's me against the world, but I can give a fuck who my opponent is. Asking why I dropped the YBN, I had no other choices, we ain't own it. You know that janky, but I'm not condoning it. With a couple, I got a bone to pick. I'm on some movement, y'all on some moment. But I'll be here forever, y'all can go and quit. We had bad, then a new Bentley, just re up from that new Stimmy. My brother counting them blue Benjis, only feel. Game and I came here to change it. Big my belief, now they calling me dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm gonna maintain it. I gotta go down to just one of the plans. So anybody got a problem with me, can't fake. Kick it, kick it, politicking. I ain't worried about it. I know God. The starting lineup for the visitors, the Utah Jazz. At power four, Kelly Olynyk. At point guard, Colin Sexton. At the other guard position, Jordan Clarkson. At center, Walker Kessler. At the other forward position, Lowry Markadon. and Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said, that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie, thanks. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You look at the Lakers. They've started strong this year, holding the second-place spot. And, of course, the Jazz, five games back. When I look at the Lakers, I think they're the team you dread having to play. I mean, they've been performing at just about their best in every game so far this season. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. Here are the starters for Utah. They've got Kelly Olenek, Colin Sexton out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Lori Markkinen. And for Los Angeles, we've got LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt out there with... Davis. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in a shooting guard. And it's good. Two points. We've got two...
Conference well, rivals well, squaring well, off well, tonight, well. Grant. I'm sure both... Teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. Now, here is James. And that one no good to start off tonight. Utah with the ball. Marketing with it. Now Vanderbilt defending. Back to Clarkson. It's Markkinen on the wing. Off target from outside. And just over a minute played here to start the game. James passes to Russell. And stolen by Sexton. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Now Sexton. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Shot from 12. That one rolls around and rims out. And it's the Lakers ball. Left side Davis. Pass to James. Can't hit that one. And Utah will come the other way. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. Not quite sure what Jordan happened. Parker. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. An aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Now here's Clarkson. 26 points for him last game against Dallas. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. So it's the Lakers now. The Jazz making their last shot. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. And the Lakers call time here. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Davis. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Beasley's checked in for LeBron. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. You know, when we talk about the Lakers, you expect them to have a superstar. B.A. starting with Wilt in the 60s, then Kareem during the 70s, Magic dominating the 80s, and more recently Shaq and Kobe, LeBron and A.D., the biggest names in the block to L.A. Schroeder. Rebounded by Dunn. Utah leading. Pass to Gay. Here's Abaji. Three-pointer off the mark. The Lakers have gone two of six to open up this game. Here's Hachimura. Sinks that one from the post. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. 24 left in the first quarter. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Bamba finds Achimura to the middle. Oh, and there's a one hand jam. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. The Jazz have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. It's Olenek, high post. Back to Dunn. Driving inside. Gay right side. Gun shot is good. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. 50 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Reeves. Defended by Dunn. And there it is for him. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. A chance at a two for one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they wouldn't. 
to the wing. Right side. Here's Abachi. Achimura with a rebound. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Utah's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Abaji, covered by Schroeder. Don outside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Fires for three. The shot no good. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. Great offensive game plan in that one. They put their guys in positions to succeed, and it really paid off. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of it. Once again, your Laker girls dance team. He got it up, and it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the play monitor and indeed they're going to look at it again the previous play is under review going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time but i think it's going to count The ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. But at the end of the day... And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers ahead, up by four. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the floor, the legendary. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. On the floor for Utah, getting going in the second. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Then there's Rudy Gay. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. Clarkson against Schroeder. Markkinen outside. Right side, Sexton. Screen by Gay. Clock at six. Out to the right wing. Over Vanderbilt. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. You know the thing with AD. He's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Here's Clarkson. The Jazz again can't hit. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Shots good by James. And how about LeBron's strength? Flexing on the D by powering through the contact. Utah trailing here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out brings it. Here's James. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Utah the other way. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Clarkson with the ball. Inside. And Markkinen with the stuff. The ability to play inside out. The more Markkinen attacks the rim, the more he creates opportunities for their perimeter game. And the basket is good. He never takes a break on any possession. He is ruthless on the offensive side of the floor. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Back to Sexton. And it's off from three-point range. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Well, the past few seasons, the Jazz have become serious playoff contenders. 
You know, B.A., with high expectations, they haven't reached their goal. Now, this franchise definitely has their sights set on the ultimate prize, their first championship. Here's Davis. Sexton grabs the board. The Jazz have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. And there's the drive. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. Rebound, Utah. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. All right, man. Get on your feet. Make some noise. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Davis. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Beasley's checked in for LeBron. And Reeves is subbed in for Schroeder. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Bamba. LeBron comes in for Achimura. And Vanderbilt is subbed in for Beasley. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. James inside. A 26-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Well, Smitty, great teams have a plan B when the plan A fails. Well, B.A., a part of it is coaching. But it's also about having the talent to win more than one way. Also, it's about ad-living and being able to change on the fly. Thing of beauty, in terms of pure shooting form, marketing is already well polished. Pass to Reeves, back to James. 56 seconds left to play in the first half. Five on the clock. Reeves. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Well, LeBron garners so much defensive attention. That's how he's able to dominate the game as a facilitator. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Done outside. Pass to Markkinen. Russell with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. There's the drive, and down it goes. Two points. And now a seven-point Laker lead. The speed of Russell on full display. Love watching him turn on the Jets and get to the cup. Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first personal foul. Team the first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Davis, the pass to James. Mid-air and converts the double-clutch layup. James has got 10 points in the game. Here's Abaji. And another miss by Utah. These are looking for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, stick around. Welcome to the 2K Sports Studio. Off the top, let's take a gander at the Players of the Month. In the East, James Harden. Built to carry an offense. It always seems like Harden's up for this award. But this last stretch has been next level. 
His legs look fresh. He's 100% focused. Tough matchup for anyone right now. And guys, huge surprise. LeBron with a great first half. Shooting at an incredible rate. Man, he's making all the right choices, forcing the defense to find him each trip. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And for the Jazz, they're shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Davis out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. That's the Laker five. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Davis. The shot's good. He has six. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. The Lakers in the lead. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. James can't get it to go. So it's Utah now. Back to Sexton. There's the three. The Jazz with another miss. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Here's Vanderbilt into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Vanderbilt's got his first two points. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Sexton, that's good. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Here's Davis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, it's been tremendous to watch Anthony Davis realize his potential here in the NBA. Over the seasons, he's lived up to the hype and developed himself into a true all-star. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for James. Beasley's checked in for Reeves. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. And a switch here also for Utah. Gay's checked in for Olenek. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Alan. Thanks. Different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in for Bamba. LeBron comes in for Achimura. Reeves is checked in for Beasley. And Russell is subbed in for Schroeder. third quarter now. Outside Russell to the paint. Chalk up two there. Give him eight. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Clarkson. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. 
He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. I mean, Jordan Clarkson is huge in the Philippines. His family with roots there, traveling out to Manila with NBA Cares, drawing huge crowds. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. It's marketing on the wing. Off target with the three. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. That's in there! Davis with the assist! Vanderbilt's got his second bucket on the night. And Clarkson in 2018 suited up for the Philippines national team. NBA Clarkson's NBA games are a must-watch in the Philippines. Kids watching Clarkson's games in the morning before heading to school. They say, forget the cartoons. We want to watch hoops. And the Lakers making a change here. Bombas checked in. All right, a moment now to bring up last season's top rebounding teams. In the third spot, the Jazz. Their big man did a tremendous job grabbing rebounds, but to be fair, their rebounding was a total team effort. Everybody chipped in. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Now here's Dunn. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Market and outside. Launches it. Unable to get that one. And the Lakers going the other way now. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. And that game will conclude a four-game homestand for them. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Davis with it, picked up by Markkinen. Out of bounds, going to be Utah's ball. And a look now at the Utah Jazz's upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then Monday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. Here's Abaji. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. Olenek checked in for Markkinen. And the Lakers with possession here. Over to the wing. The three is up. The shot by Reeves, no good. Utah has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Outside Olenek. Pass to Abaji. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at 6. Launches a 3. Gets the 3 to fall. He's got 10. And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. Right side, Russell. It's stolen. Here's Horton Tucker. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. The Lakers have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. And here's Russell. He has six. They grab their own miss. Bamba. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Defensive foul. Walker F. Ward. That's his second personal. That's good from Bamba. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back after this word. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball, keep your eyes up, keep the ball moving, you're going to keep the defense on its heels. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. So the Jazz Five right now. Doesn't go for him. The Jazz shooting just 35% for the floor. Now Clarkson. Left side Sexton. Schroeder with a rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Percentage was fantastic, and he's just done a great job of finding space and taking advantage of every inch the defense gives him. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. He spoke to his club like they were down in the score. He told them, quote, we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. Sexton with it. Pass to Olenek. Back to Sexton for three. That shot is off. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Shot is good by Reeves. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Vanderbilt against Sexton. Outside Olenek. Back to Sexton. Clarkson for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got rebound number five here tonight. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. The indestructible one. LeBron brushing off. Contact with the easy deuce. Clarkson left side. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stat should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Pass to James. It again. That's his seventh midfield goal in 11 tries. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. For three, Sexton hits a three-pointer. Got to D him up better than that. He's three. simply too good from beyond the arc. And the ball out of play. The Jazz will have it. Utah's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Clarkson passes to Olenek. And it's Olenek with a jam. 
Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. The Lakers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Russell. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Clarkson for three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got eight rebounds in the game. James against Markkinen. The shot by James, no good. The Jazz shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Markkinen outside. Clarkson for three. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And he drives in. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 16. If this one hasn't Utah, been in doubt Utah. for a bit now, they came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Now, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one can have the advantage on the boards. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them, but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for LeBron James. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. The three from Sexton. Rebound by the Lakers. 54 seconds left to play in the fourth. Back to Davis. Right wing. The three from Russell. Rebound by Olenek. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Los Angeles foul. Austin Lee. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Jazz substitution, Rudy Gay, Ochai Abaji, Taylor. 35 Tucker. seconds left in the final quarter. It's done. Just five to shoot. Gay outside. He tries for three. No good. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. Pass to Reeves. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? LeBron, you've accomplished so much in this league. How have you been able to sustain it for so long? You know, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point. And, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can until I can't give no more. And, all right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone. Beg for God's help. I'm your disciple. Of, certainly, I'm the N, the A to the S I R. If I wasn't, I must have been. Action in the mirror. This is what I changed to, and God, I'm so thankful.